everybody! Today is Pentecost Sunday, and it's the Sunday that we learn about the Holy Spirit. Here's our story for today. Jesus' disciples were celebrating the festival of Pentecost when whoosh, a strong wind blew. Fiery flames appeared above each disciple's head. The disciples even started talking in different languages. This was the Holy Spirit, just like Jesus had promised. With the help of God's Spirit, the disciples started living new lives and boldly telling everyone about Jesus. God sent the Holy Spirit to be a helper for us in good times and bad, when we're together and when we're alone. I know you have lots of other helpers in your life too. Who are they? How do they help you? Our key verse for today is from Acts chapter 2, verse 4. It says, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. You can read all of today's story in the book of Acts chapter 2. It's a fun one to read, so you might want to take a look at it later. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we can't see you, but like the wind, we know you are here. Help us know your power and peace. Amen. For this week's Maker Challenge, we want you to try to make a pinwheel or a windsock to remind you of the Holy Spirit. With an adult's help, you can find a free printable pattern for either a pinwheel or a windsock on the internet. You could use the colors red, and orange and yellow in your design to remind you of the fire that appeared on the disciples' heads in the story. You also might need some other supplies like paper, fabric, scissors, a hole punch, a straw. It just depends on which project you choose and which pattern you use. Anyway, I can't wait to see what kind of projects you come up with. Don't forget to take a picture of whatever you make and send it in to Allie so she can include it in next week's video. The Holy Spirit is our helper, but sometimes we need to be helpers too. This summer, I need to go to Ohio to help my mom who's getting older and who can't really take care of herself anymore. It's going to take me away from church for a really long time and I'm not sure when I'm going to get to see you again. I want you to know that I love you guys, and I'm really going to miss you. But I know that God has great things in store for all of you. I hope that you have an amazing summer. I'll be praying for you. Bye!